Shalom. All right. Uh, we're the brothers from GMS Atlanta. All right, we're back out here at another Thursday camp. Okay. And before we get started with this uh, this ministry, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim and his truth and sincerity. All right. And we're just going to. Uh, going to salvation, all right, the, the salvation of the nation of Israel, all right, which the nation of Israel consists of what the world calls so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, they make up the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, according to prophecy, all right, and we're going into the salvation of the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, because the whole nation won't be saved, all right, but if you can receive this word and you believe it, yeah. there's a good chance you're of the elect, Oh yeah. all right. And uh, we're just going to get started with Wisdom of Solomon, Chapter 5. Uh, start at the top. Can I, can, I, can I grab a precept for you? Oh, yeah. Romans 13. Yeah, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Right. So it's high time to awake out of sleep. All right. To, to wake out of th this American uh, dream spirit. All right. To, to wake up. Wake up out of this uh, this worldly spirit, man. It's high time. Because as it says, uh, salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. All right? Okay? Because, it, man, it could happen next year, man. It could be next year. The Lord could come back next year, man. Okay? Well, with everything that's going on in the world, all the prophecies being fulfilled, Yahweh Shai, which that's the true name of who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus Christ. His true name is Yahweh Shai. All right, and he could come back next year. Like th this is how soon, uh, th this is how serious it's getting, man. Yeah. All right, a lot of judgment is going out. All right, the the, the, the so-called queen, she, she just uh, gave up the ghost. Yeah. All right, her 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 old ass is back in the spirit world. Okay, and when she comes back, she's going into slavery. Yeah. That's right. All right, you so-called white people, you're the Edomites, and you're going into slavery under the twelve tribes of Israel. That's right. All right, for all the atrocities, for all the 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 rape, robbery, and murder that you've done on the planet Earth. You so-called white people are going into slavery, man. Okay? And and the Lord is a so-called black man. All right, but, but you can go ahead and get into that wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Right, and that's speaking about us, Lord willing, we're of the elect. All right, Lord willing, we're, we're, uh, the works that we're doing are counted for, for righteousness sake. But it says the righteous shall stand in great boldness before the face of, of such as have afflicted us. So we're standing in boldness before our enemies, man. That's right. All right, the, the so-called white race, which are the Edomites. Okay. All right, but, but just for balance sake, not all so-called white people are Edomites. All right. So some of our people are scattered amongst yep. them and look yep. like them yep. for balance sake. All right. Yep. Because you have the Israelite foreigners. All right. So if you're if you look like a so-called white person and you can receive this word and you believe it, yeah. you're it. there's a good chance you're Israelite. As a matter of fact, you are an Israelite. Yeah. And there's a good chance you're of the elect. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna get to uh, back you up. Huh. This huh. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Yeah. Yeah. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. Right, the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, because if you, if you have that, that epiphany, mm -hmm. uh, and when you hear this word and, and something clicks in your mind, that's the Holy Spirit working on your mind. That's the Heavenly Father working on your mind so you can see the, the truth. He's taking that blindfold off. He's taking you out of, out of that slumber. All right, and it doesn't matter how you look like. If you have that moment where, where the Lord wakes you up to this truth, you're an Israelite. It doesn't matter where you're from, and, and it doesn't matter how you look. Because our people are scattered amongst all the other nations. That's pursuant to uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the, the curses. Okay, so our people is amongst all these other nations. All right, so this isn't a, a black thing. This isn't right. All right, just a, a, exactly. a black and brown thing. Okay, because uh, Revelation 7 it says there's a great multitude. Yep. All right, from all all kindreds uh, and languages and people. As a matter of fact, you could get that. Huh. I got you. This is a uh, Revelation chapter seven. Verse 9. Oh, slide. Like, yep, Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. And it reads, After this I beheld, and lo, 
Hey, hey, great. Oh, you know, I started at four and go down nine. Four, you come. Come. Really, you can start at the top when that's okay. Okay, come. This is Revelation chapter seven, verse one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. Right. And those four angels holding back the wind is the, that wind is uh, the nuclear destruction. Okay, because America is prophesied to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. All right. And um, what scripture is that in Jeremiah 14 where it speaks about the destroying wind? Uh, Jeremiah 51. I got 51. Yeah. Like you. No, you. Yeah, it's just a uh, precept that, that, that scripture. Uh, this is, uh, yep, this is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and Which against Babylon. It's like if Babylon is America, okay. That in the scriptures, when you read about the, the daughter of Babylon and Babylon the Great, uh, mystery Babylon, that's that's code for America, okay? Because they, they didn't have these all these modern terms, they didn't have it back then in the ancient world, all right? So they called it Babylon, which means confusion, yeah. which that's that's uh, that's a uh, fitting for America, yeah, that's a fitting title, yeah. Because this place is full of confusion, man. You got women trying to be men, men trying to be women, all right? Uh, 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 adults letting their children uh, choose their gender. That's that's total madness, man. All right, and that's going against the, the scriptures. Yeah. So this place truly is Babylon the Great, man. And it's going to be destroyed. Read on. And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Right. So the Lord is going to bring that destroying wind. All right, the Yahweh Bashim Shai orchestrated all these missiles uh, to, to be created. All right, he, 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 he uh, it says that in uh, Isaiah, uh, he created the smith that blew up the coals. So the, the, the Heavenly Father, he 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 orchestrated all these missiles to, to, to hit America, man. All right, it was all predestined. Yep. But you can continue in that revelation. Con, this is Revelation chapter 7, verse 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea verse 3 saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads right so essentially what the, what's that saying is that the heavenly father isn't going to hurt the earth meaning he's not going to bring the, the destruction on america until the servants which is the elect of the nation of israel is sealed in their foreheads, man. All right, sealed with this wisdom and knowledge. Okay, that's the, that's the only reason why America ain't destroyed yet, because the elect still has to be sealed. All right, there, there's still members of the elect that have not uh, waken up yet. All right, so that's why that's the only reason that destruction hasn't come yet. Okay, uh, continue on. All right, it's brother chapter seven, verse three. Oh, it's like it. Verse four, and I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Right. And those are uh, the, the men, uh, the prophets of the nation of Israel, the elect. Okay. You got the 144,000, which, as I mentioned, that they're men and they're prophets. And then you got the one third, which uh, is men, women, and children. Okay. So it's a small number. The whole nation of Israel ain't going to be saved, man, on this side. Okay. You, you could jump down to uh, nine. This brother chapter seven, verse nine. And after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds, and people and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Right. So it said a great multitude of all kindreds, uh, uh people and tongues. Yep. Pretty much every every nation on, on the planet Earth, which when you read Amen. Genesis chapter 10, there's 18 nations. Yep. So our people is, is scattered amongst all the other nations. Yeah. All right. I got a precept to back you up with that. Con, con. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. You know, what? I started I started verse 10. All right. And it reads in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people to it shall the Gentiles seek his rest shall be glorious and that ensign that's the that's the 12 tribe sign all right which the holy spirit put on the prophet the high priest Ariat to put together okay that's what that ensign is 
and really us being out here is also the inside oh yeah that's because that's a sign us us just being out here is a sign man right. but the heavenly father still got his hands on everything he's still orchestrating everything man he runs the show yeah. all right and we're, we're proof of that okay lord willing we be up the elect yeah. isaiah chapter 11 verse 11 and it shall come to pass in that day that the lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people right the second time because the first time was ancient egypt all right when you read about the, the exodus okay moses how, how he, he delivered the children of israel that was the first time okay the second time is going to be america because america is new egypt all right and he's going to deliver the elect this time he's not going to uh, deliver the whole nation right okay because the, the, the two-thirds of, of the nation of israel they're, they're wicked man all right they, they, they trust in uh, uh in, in the shadow of egypt Okay, so the Lord ain't going to save them niggas this time. He's going to destroy them. All right? And if you got a problem with that, you're a two-thirds too. All right? You know? Which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. Right, so our people are scattered within all those lands, all right? All throughout the Middle East, okay, through, uh, all throughout... Uh, uh, Africa, mm -hmm. okay, especially on on the West Coast, uh, our, our our people are, are are concentrated on the West Coast. Exactly. All right, but that shows you that our people is in within all these lands. All right, continue on. Verse twelve, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Wow, see that shows you. On the four corners of the earth and it's not only judah it's, it's the whole nation mm -hmm. okay but judah is the head tribe yep so that just uh goes to show you that our people look like all the other nations so you can't really uh it says that in samuel you can't judge by, by the outer appearance yeah right, right? because uh, there's going to be a lot of so so-called white people that come to this truth that can receive it and they're really israelites yeah all, all, all the nations you know? yeah yeah so-called chinese people so-called right. arabs Oh, yeah. Right, so-called uh, uh, Africans. There's going to be people that, that look like all these other nations that can actually get it because that's prophecy. Yeah. And then this brother, he got that word for uh, Kendrick. Oh, okay, Oh, yeah. Oh, you can, you can get that real quick. Okay, real quick. Just to uh, edify. Uh, John 7 and 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. All right, so don't judge on the outer appearance. All right, because as we mentioned, that there's, there's a lot of our people that they don't look like the typical Israelites. Yeah. So you can't just, just, just say, oh, that's a heathen, oh, that's a Hamite. He's right. not invited to the cookout. He's a Hamite. <laughs> you can't do that, man. Because our, our people are scattered. You got you to gotta try their spirit. You got to see uh, 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 what's ticking. Right. What's ticking in their mind. All right, you can't just, just automatically right off the bat, oh, that's a heathen. Yeah. You got to see how he moves. You got to see how he talks. Yeah. All right, you got to see the, the spirit that he, he's coming in. Yeah, that's true. Hey, hey, but that's that's the mistake that the world does with us. Right. They look at us like, hey, y'all ain't got, y'all ain't talking about shit. Y'all yeah. ain't doing nothing. Yeah, you know, y'all y'all ain't got this, y'all ain't got that. Hey, but truly, they don't understand that this is this is something that's going to save your life. Yeah. But so, they, but they can't, they don't, they can't see that because they didn't what? They didn't see the spirit. They didn't take that moment, take thirty minutes out today to stop and listen to the prophet. You know, 30 minutes out to check out that YouTube video. It's, it's simple things, man. But hey, but it's, that's why the scriptures say they shall know it by pain, death by pain. Right. That's what it's that's what it's going to take for the for the wicked of our own people, of the Israelites, man. For you right. Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans. Right, because our people they're, they're not spiritual. Right, they, they just see a bunch of uh, young dudes out here, young so-called uh, uh, black dudes, and they, and, and they, they think we ain't shit. Uh, they don't realize that, that, that this is way higher. This is on a on a whole higher level than what it appears. Right. Uh, they don't realize they can't see the angels that are around us right now. Okay, they don't understand how how serious of uh, what we're doing truly is. Right, they just walk by like, like, like we're not even standing here. Yep. But that's okay though. All right, the, the, the Lord, the oh, Lord's yeah. gonna gonna take care of you. Yeah. All right, it's not gonna be pretty. Yeah. But you can. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is uh, Kendrick's 
according to Revelation 7 and verse 9. I'll just give you a script real quick. It says, After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And that word kindreds is a G of 54, 43. Fule, Fule, and it's uh, it means a tribe, mm. uh, a nation, people, an offshoot, race, or clan. Yep. You know? Right. Um, read that one. Okay. Uh, also, in the in the it says in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the twelve Saints. sons. Of the patriarch Jacob or Yaquab in the Hebrew. So you can't get around that, man. Yeah. That that's irrefutable. You can't refute that. So the Israelite foreigners, the, the ones that, that come from all those other nations, they originally go back to, to Jacob, which is the father of the Israelites. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Going back to, to the original point, it doesn't matter how you look. All right, but you could um what would you do? Put that in on uh, Revelation. Yeah, that was, yeah, brother, seven and nine, yeah. Okay. I'll reread it. This, okay, yeah. no, no, let me read. I'll read verse 10 as well. No. This brother, seven, verse nine. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, and stood before the throne and before the lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sit upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And this is when uh, Yahweh Shai comes back and delivers us. All right? this, that's when that's going to take place. Okay? When we get the victory. All right? And that, go, that, that leads right back to our original uh, starting point, the, the salvation, the chariots. All right, you can get that. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond beyond all that they look for. All right. So when, when they see the, the chariots uh, uh, covering the skies, man, when they see Yahweh Shai coming back, OK, because he's coming with the armies of heaven. He, he's oh, the yeah. Lord of hosts, yep. which means the Lord of armies. When they see that, they're going to be troubled with terrible fear, man. People going to be dying, having heart attacks. Yeah. OK. <laughs> people are gonna be bugging out, man. They're gonna yeah. be losing their mind. And the main reason, that. and the main reason they're gonna be bugging out, so lucky. The oh, yeah. main, re the main reason they're gonna be bugging out because they didn't think it would happen. Yeah. They did not. They, you know that. You know that saying. I didn't think in a million years. Yeah. No, nah, that's gonna be something they really didn't yeah. think that was gonna happen. Yeah. Just, just as likewise these other problems that we mentioned, World War Three, the pushing of that device to you people's body, that right. size of a grain of rice or smaller. You know, they didn't think these things could happen. That's why these people are gonna be confused as hell. When, it, when the things that the Bible do, didn't speak about does happen, you know, right. they're going to be shocked, man. They're going to be paranoid, want to put themselves to death, you know. That's what's about to happen. All right, and like, like uh, Bishop Cosmo said one time, it's going it's to be an experience, man. All right, every last individual is going to experience that moment when Yahweh Shai comes back. So much so that, as it says in John chapter 5, he, he's going to bring people out the grave just to see that. All right, Ooh. everyone's going to experience that moment. And that's why it says yep. every knee shall bow. Okay, yeah. the scriptures don't lie. It means just that. Okay, yeah. every knee is going to bow to that, That's literal. That's yeah. literal. That's it. I, I grabbed that uh, John chapter 5, which you mentioned. This is John chapter 5, verse 29. It re you know what? Verse, verse 27. And have given him authority to execute judgment also. Because he is the son of man. That is saying you have a shot. Verse 28. Marvel not at this. For the hour comes like for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice. Verse 29. So that's all the people that, that, that died. All right. The, the people that died like 50 years ago is gonna come back. All right. Hitler's gonna come back. <laughs> and everyone, uh, hey, the queens, she just went back to the spirit world. The Lord's gonna bring her ass back to see that moment. Yep. You know? Verse 29, it shall come forth. They that have done good 
until the resurrect until the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil until the res resurrection of damnation. Right. So the Lord, He's gonna bring back the righteous and the wicked. Okay, but the righteous is gonna come back to get salvation. All right, but the wicked, the one, the ones who died, uh, you know, in their wickedness, the Lord's just gonna bring them back just to be judged, man. Yeah. Just to eat of this one. Yeah. All right. Or, or, or a laser beam. Yeah, the yeah. chariot, the chariot's gonna be shooting people with laser beams, man. All right, that's that's not just something Hollywood made up. That's in the scriptures. The scriptures, uh, the scripture says uh, the chariot's got uh, bright beams. I, I think that's in Nahum, but it says he's gonna come up with, with bright, with bright beams, with, with horns, yeah. and that's speaking about the, the laser beam. Yeah. All right. I got another. I got a preacher for you. Just going more into that deliverance out the grave. Uh, this uh, First Thessalonians chapter four verse fifteen. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Verse sixteen. Right, because certain men aren't going to die certain men are going to make it to the end okay and, and i believe uh the apostle paul said that uh, as well he says to certain men oh hey how was i said that he said there'll be some of you will stand here which shall not taste the death yeah yeah all right so certain men ain't gonna die man certain men go go, go make it through jacob's trouble make it through that thermal nuclear destruction and be saved yeah. all right verse 16 for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in Yahweh shy shall rise first all right the members of the elect that, that, that went back to the spirit world okay that they, they died doing the work all right they're going to come back with Yahweh shy on his ship okay because he brought it out every every everyone who's in the graves is going to come out to see that moment when Yahweh shy returns when he makes it his his uh his grand return yeah okay verse 17 then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air and shall it's like and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Right. Where, yep. Oh, did you read on? Oh, this last verse. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Right. So so that's very comforting to know that, man. That's what we're fighting for, for that moment. All right, when we get beamed up and what the world ignorantly calls UFOs from that thermonuclear destruction. Okay. So that's going to be the, 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 one of the greatest moments, man. All right, seeing Yahweh Shah, seeing our brethren on the, on the ships. Okay, that's what we're fighting for. Yeah. That's only day. Hey, that's a hey, that's a defining moment. That's only a one time moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's never going to happen again. <laughs> All right, yeah, pe yeah. people people are going to be uh, talking about that forever in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. for, for generations and generations, they're going to be talking about this great deliverance. All right, so much so that they're not even going to really talk about the, the ancient egypt yeah. the exodus uh, of the ancient yeah. egypt you were going to get that yeah. Jeremiah. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah five and, uh, yeah. it's jeremiah chapter five like i go to i go to one of jeremiah's oh no it's 23 20, so like i got yeah, i got it yeah. jeremiah 23 not five true yeah. this is jeremiah chapter 23 verse 5 Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Right, and King David, man, King David's coming back too. Okay? You can't have the house of David without David. <laughs> All right? Read on. Verse 6, in his days Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they should no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Verse 8. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. And from all countries, whither I have driven them. Right, so they ain't going to really talk about the ancient deliverance, uh, going back to the Exodus. They're going to be talking about the great deliverance when the Lord came back and delivered us from, from North America. All right, that's the land of the North. Because it's going to be so great. Like the brother said, it's never going to happen again. There's never going to be a time where, where chariots is just going to 
invade uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, the planet, so to speak, right, right? And, and beam up a large number of, of individuals. That's not never gonna happen again. The war to end all wars. Yeah, right. There's not gonna be no wars no more after that. All right, well, where you, where you, where I read it. I read the last verse one more time. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter twenty-three, verse eight. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. So the Lord's going to put us back in our own land. All right, He's going to get rid of those uh, imposters in our land, those small hats, and He's going to put in the, the rightful inhabitants of that land, which are the two tribes of Israel. All right, the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That was it on that? Yeah, yeah, that was the point. Uh, this, this brother got a uh, I mean, uh, just Back and further up on uh, how our Lord Yahweh Shai is going to come from the east um, and wreck shop. This is Isaiah 63 from the top. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? That's, oh, and, and that's the God, Lord Yahweh Shai. And he's going to be so, he's gonna be so busy, man. His vesture, his vesture is going to be, it's going to look like it's just dipped in blood, man. You know, he's going to come with judgment, yeah, I, great judgment on these people, uh, uh, these wicked inhabitants of, of this earth, man, this place of uh, Babylon the Great. And it reads, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Right, so Yahweh Shai, he's mighty to save. His name means he deliverer. That's what Yahweh Shai means. All right, that, that that's his purpose. All right, his purpose is to save us. Okay, and he's coming back. With, like I said, in, in the uh, the greatness of his strength, with, with the armies of heaven, with Michael the archangel, all right, and all the other angels, and they're they're coming to, they're coming to, to 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 put it bluntly to fuck shit up. All right, then they're not coming. Like, like Christianity tries to say uh, he's coming back, all right, to, to, to save all nations. All right, he, he, he came not to send peace on earth, okay? When he comes back, it's not going to be a pretty sight. Yeah. We don't. Uh, Isaiah 63 and 2. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine pack? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment. And I will stain all my remnant. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. So, so oh, oh, you got it. Right. So that's speaking about how how much uh, killing that the, that the Lord is going to do when he comes back. All right. Because as I already mentioned, uh, the chariots, they can shoot laser beams, man. All right, that's not just something. Uh, so I'm like, how about something with that? That's not something Hollywood made up. All right, that's in the scriptures. All right, all these Hollywood directors, they get all their ideas from the scriptures, man. All right, so when he comes back, he's coming back with, with, with fire, man. All right, what, what, what that is? Verse four: For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. All right, the day of vengeance is, is in his heart, man. Right now, Yahweh Shai is waiting to come back, man. He, he's, he's eager, all right? He, 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 he can't wait to come back, all right? You can just imagine uh, all the all the uh, the pain and suffering that, 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 that they put him through when he was, when he was here 2,000 years ago, which in the spirit world, it was only two days, all right? So so he's eager to come back and, 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 and uh, execute judgment to, to get revenge. He, he's eager for that, man, all right? I got that, Isaiah 66. This is Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord would come with fire, and with his chariots like a whirlwind, surrender his anger with fury, and his rebuke with, with flames of fire. Right, and that, that's what these people in the world would call a, an invasion, all right? A, a, an alien invasion, all right? But really, it's an angelic invasion, all right? Because of the, the, the chariots, those are the vehicles of the angels, man. All right, the, 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 those ain't no uh, little green men from Mars. All right, that's that's all bullshit that, that they show on on the movies. Right. All right, the, the so-called black men in those ships. 
white women with beards, afros with crowns on their head. Okay? And say he comes, he's coming with fire. That's the laser beams. That's concentrated fire. All right? And what do you think he's going to do with that fire, read on? Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Right. And, and that word plead, that really means uh, to judge. He's going, to, he's going to judge all flesh, okay? Whether you, you did righteousness, you'll get a righteous reward. If you did wickedness, you're going to, you're going to get a laser beam, man. All right, you're going to get fired. Yeah. That's why it says by, with fire and by his sword, okay? Because the sword is, is a killing instrument. Because the Lord's going to do a lot of killing, all right? There's going to be a lot of, of death in the times that we're coming into. Right. Even before he comes, he comes on earth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh in the abomination, and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. Right, you know all those uh, abominable foods. Okay, you're not supposed to eat pork. You're not supposed to uh, uh, eat mice or no rodents. You're not supposed to eat none of that shit, man. All right, no unclean animals. All right, but you could go back to the uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Yep. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 3. It reads, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Right, so they, when they see that uh, Yahweh Shai and his majesty with all his ships, okay, and they see us, Lord, when we'll be lit, getting beamed up. Because... Our enemies are going to see us getting beamed up. The scripture says oh, yeah. it says that. Uh, all the ones that this, this got, yeah, uh -huh. shot. all the ones that just scoffed against this truth, all the ones that, that talk shit about us, all right, well, whether whether we, we know it or not, okay? Because because a lot of people that they don't they don't comment, but they talk shit in their mind. Oh yeah. All right, they scoff in their mind. Yeah. Like, look, look, at, look at these crazy niggas. That, that's not going to happen. You oppose. Yeah. Don't niggas like it's in the news. All right, they got you. A, they, they, the water, huh? they show the the, the 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 chariots in the news. All right. Yeah. 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 I got. I, I reread that. Wisdom Solomon five and three. This is Wisdom Solomon chapter five verse three. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, "This was he, whom we had sometimes in derision, and a proverb of reproach." All right, so like yeah, the brothers was just mentioning, you know that that's gonna be that's gonna that's what that's gonna be those wicked individuals that's witnessing the salvation of the Israelites, the salvation of the elect. You know they gonna have that they gonna have that regretful spirit within themselves, man, when they see this happen. You know all the things that they they live for and the facade and the lavish lavishness. If it wasn't of you, how about Shmuel Hey, what did it end? What did it resort in? Death, nothing. You know, but verse four, it reads, "We fools, accounting his life madness." And his end to be without honor. How he is numbered among the children of the Most High, his lot is among the saints. Yeah, so Ada, Ada, salvation is only for the nation of Israel. It's, it's only for the in the elect of the nation of Israel because we understand what not all a not all Israel is is Israel, man. You know. So I continue on Wisdom Solomon chapter five, verse five. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High, and his lot is among the saints? Verse six. Therefore, right, that's what they're gonna be saying. Like, like how how are how are they the chosen? Yeah. How, how are those niggas the chosen? What, what's so special about them? That's what they're gonna be saying, man. All right, all, all, all you scoffers. All right, but in that day, you gonna you gonna regret scoffing. All right, because your your ass is gonna be on the ground while we're being beamed up. All right, you're gonna see those missiles falling. All right, it's gonna be a terrible day, man. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Wisdom Solomon chapter 5, verse 6. Therefore have we we erred, erred from the from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Right. The, the Lord didn't, didn't work on their mind and open up their, their eyes to, to see this truth. All right. The, the, the Lord did, didn't deal with them because they just weren't chosen. All right. Because ultimately it goes back to uh, predestination. Uh, before uh, the earth was even formed, 
the Lord already had who, who, who was chosen and who wasn't. He already had a, a, a set amount of, of individuals that, that, that he favored before even everything was even created. I got to preach that too. Go ahead. This is uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Right, whom he did foreknow. That's the elect. Okay, he foreknew before everything was created. Okay, because when, when you really think about it, this, this is like a movie. The Heavenly Father is the, the director, all right? He set everything up before everything was even created. It's just like a director writing a script before the movie is put together. It's the same, same concept, you know? That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. The firstborn because the elect are the first spirits uh, created of the nation of Israel. They were created before all the other uh, spirits, right? And Yahweh Shai, he was the first spirit. He was the very first spirit that the Heavenly Father created, really the only spirit. That's why he's called the um, only begotten son, because he's the first fruit. He's like the brother said, Yahweh really, yeah, Yahweh created everything, but really, Yahweh, technically speaking, he only created Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai created everything else. Everything else is the grandson of Yahweh. Yeah, that's it. Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Man, so, Lord willing, that's us, man. Yeah. Okay, we continue to the end. Uh, if, if we uh, resist that, that, the CHIP, all right, that device is the size of a grain of rice, if we, if we uh, resist that, all right, and stay steadfast until the end, that's us. Yeah. Okay, we're reading about ourselves. Yeah, because right now, we, we're living that out right now. We, yeah. We're called right now. We, we're looking to be justified through salvation, being glorified. That's going to come through the, the benefits of the kingdom of heaven. You know? Uh, verse 31. You want it? Come, come. Okay. Yeah, verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If the most high be for us, who can be against us? Mm -hmm. right, so the elect that they have, going back to, to the analogy of a movie, they have plot armor. All right, there's, there's a thing called plot armor where the main character seems to always avoid destruction. And that's the elect, okay? The elect is going to avoid all, all this destruction. It says that in Psalms 91. All right. This is uh, the book of Revelation chapter 11 and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying, unto them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and the enemies beheld them right so when the when the house shot comes back in the ship there's going to be a loud voice saying uh come up hither all right they're going it's going to be said in ancient hebrew okay and it says uh against well, read that part they said it up. Uh, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. Right, the cloud is speaking about a so-called UFO, a chariot, because that's also a nickname of the chariots by Psalms 104 and not before. Okay, and it, it says their enemies beheld them. So all our enemies, they are gonna see us getting saved, and they are gonna see the missiles come coming for them. All right, coming to get their ass. Yeah, one more scripture to back you up. Revelation 18 and four, and I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues right so the, the lord's going to take us out of here before the, the ultimate plague which is the missiles uh destroys everything man all right that's what it means uh, come out of her my people that doesn't mean go on a, a on an airplane and, and go to uh, egypt or some bugged out shit like that yeah. speaking about us being beamed up in the chariot that's how we getting out of here we're not, we're not getting out of here in, in goddamn planes, all right? Are you crazy? That's the main, people, the main thing people say. We, we say, America going to be destroyed. Oh, I might just, I just leave. <laughs> like, that's right. the, but that's, that's, the, that's the thought that yeah. does happen. Like, oh, I just, they try to rebuttal something. That, that, that's how bad they don't want it to happen. But what about when there's a uh, nuclear radi radioactive tsunami about to hit you because America just been hit yeah. with 200 million warheads? No, not even that. They, 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 
Yeah. Right? When the nuke goes off, there's something called an electromagnetic pulse. Yeah. And that, that, that destroys all electronics. All right, but low wind, that was edifying. I'm going to step down and let the next brother teach. Yeah, I'm about to get out of wisdom. It's all about to get out yeah, that's the spirit. I got a quick piece of This is Psalms 91 and 3. It says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. Alright, so what brothers are saying is that with these nuclear missiles that's gonna come, uh there's no way, you know, that you can pack up and leave, you know, within 10, 15 minutes or, 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 or within two, three hours time frame, you know, and get out of there and try to get on a plane. Because first of all, a plane is not going to be able to fly faster than a, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, a nuclear uh, uh, blast, right? It was this movie we was watching, Independence Day. I put Independence Day on last week. And... Uh, you see how they had Air Force One, you know, the chariot came down yeah, and it, 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 it shot the laser down, yeah. right? And yeah. you can see Air Force One, the airplane flying just far yeah. enough away, just yeah. fast yeah. enough away from that nuclear blast to get away. That's not going to happen in, in real life, okay? Now, what I'm reading here in Psalm 91 yeah. is saying what? It's saying that the Lord is going to deliver us from that noise of pestilence, that, that, that nuclear explosion. Right, and multiple nuclear explosions that's going to take place once these missiles in America. All right, it says, "Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler." Starting with the truth, that's our protection because we have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Right. But we're also going to have the actual angels come and deliver us from out of the fire, right? There's also in the book of Zechariah as well, okay? It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. It's not talking about an arrow shot from an a, a, a archery contest in the Olympics or something like that. No, it's talking about nuclear missiles all right all right it says nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noon day so the lord is going to protect us that's ultimately what the scripture says when we look to the lord already has an escape plan set up for the elect to get uh away from the, the destruction to come all right This is the book of Judges, chapter 5, and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, Yahweh, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then, yeah, that's talking about the elect. The elect are going to be saved from that destruction. The noisy archers, just like priest just broke down that's talking about the nuclear missiles that's going to be shot by uh america's enemies who that you know america's going to shoot his missiles but that's going to be the destruction because of those noisy uh, uh weapons that these nations have which are the missiles i'm not talking about an uh arrow from an archer back in back in the uh, ancient world in the places of drawing waters is where the elect is going to be basically it's talking about captivity because if you read the book of uh, uh, Joshua, it goes into how um, the Hamites came over to us and uh, we made them go into tribute by human, being humans of uh, wood and uh, draws of water. Which basically, they was in captivity. So in the places of drawing waters, we were rehearsing the righteous acts. We call in what? We call in the laws that you commandments back to our minds. And then what? The Lord is going to uh, save us from uh, all this destruction that's about to come on the earth. Because we had a time that the Lord is about to judge the earth, and all prophecy lines up with the scripture. So the salvation of the elect is going to be strange in, in a way that nobody ever even can fathom in their minds. You know, the simple word that we're throwing right here is basically our meal ticket to the to the heaven gates. 
Now, which we the, you know, the heavy gates, you know, we the leaders of Israel, but we're going to be delivering those chariots. Mm -hmm. You got it? Okay. Then shall the people of the Lord, Yahweh, go down to the gates. Yeah, well, um, let me get that. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to be in order. Yeah. Leaders are going to have kings, priests. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way where they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel and Ephraim is my firstborn. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 5. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. Yeah, and, and the Lord is doing it by way of the unicorn. What is the unicorn? Well, basically, the modern day internet, which at first it was a satellite dish because you had the feed horn to, to uh, beam up the satellite, uh, beam, uh, a beam up to the satellite, and then the satellite beam to the television or computer or whatnot to, to have, you know, what we have now, the television and internet, what we see. But the unicorn has what a bye bye crib, which you know, brother get internet, and it and it and we left the works to the to the to the internet, and then what? It's gathering Israel back home. Yeah, like it says in Job chapter thirty nine. Because with the internet, the brother is going into the unicorn, which of course is going into the satellite, but it's also um, I believe the term in Hebrew is rabium, which yeah, um, uh, uh, um. yeah, right, you know, like, yeah, depending on the context, right? Which the root word is um which um go it also goes into ray of light all right with that ray of light is what of course it's a small ray that you actually can't see via the satellites but it's also what you see via the telephone um via the computer screen all right that's that that's that um perfection of light man yep and that's that like this you know that's the process of the, of the unicorn bringing israel back home yeah. <laughs> this is how the Lord is gathering israel first the elect and then the rest will be sealed this is Romans chapter 10 and verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. And that's also going into the, the internet. Yeah, that's first Yeah, because the, the apostles and the elders and the brothers, we couldn't, you know, just have leisure time like that to do like you know the apostles and the elders did in the ancient world because they was in that known world right there. You had Asia, you know, minor, and you had Rome and all that. Even though they still had to, you know, go to boats and stuff like that, but they had to do it in a way because the technology at that time wasn't uh, uh, brought forth then. But now the, the, the appointed time has come, now what? The gospel is preached throughout the four corners of the world. Just yep. like how we shall prophesy to uh, the disciples. Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. How did that happen? By way of the internet. This is Isaiah chapter 43 and verse uh, 6. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Yeah, North America, South America. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Yeah, the east and the west. The Lord is gathering us all, all together right now. That's why you see brothers doing a live stream, doing sit down, out on the highways and byways, whether one man camp or many brothers in the camp. The truth of the Lord is being manifested out here before your eyes, just like right. the Lord said in Psalm chapter 50, verse 21. He said that about Esau. He said what? He said, then I will set them up in order before thy eyes and reprove thee. Yeah. And we're reproving Esau because of his sinful deeds. Shalom. Uh, Isaiah 43 and 7. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Yeah. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the, de and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together. And, and let that's, the not, that's not talking about literal. That's talking about who was in that dead state because the Lord brought that wind to, to what? Blow, the, blow life in the, in, in the bones of the valley of the dry bones. Like it says in Ezekiel chapter 30. I mean, it's like Ezekiel chapter 37. So the Lord blowing that breath in us now what? We ain't dumb, we ain't blind no more. Isaiah chapter 6 verse uh, 9 and 10 goes into that. Because what? We're being converted and healed. We're turning away from that, from those adventures that we had in our hearts. And now what? The Lord is having us to gather faith as a treasure. Got it. And let the people be assembled. 
who among them can declare this? Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified or let them hear and say it is true. Yeah, so, you know, the Lord's going to bring his elect together. You know, he's bringing his elect. We're out here fishing for the elect. And that's a big topic, you know, because a lot of a lot of our nation wants to, uh, uh, they, we, they, they want to, Make this thing like a, a Christianity, right. where where right replacement theology, you know, where, where we bring in everybody, you know, you, you bring in uh, 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 the lame, you know, uh, 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 broken up, you know, people that 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 don't really belong in in, in in Israel, you know, those those beasts. So we're out here fishing for the elect. The point is, we're out here fishing for the elect, and not everybody's going to be saved. Right, they, everybody don't have it. Exactly. That's why I said the remnant. He said the remnant of my people is Israel. We read Jeremiah. Right. Not, not all of it. Not all of Israel, and definitely none of the heathens. Yep. Jeremiah uh, thirty verse eleven. The Lord uh, punish us in measure. All of Israel is being punished, but not like. Well, the one third is not being punished like the two thirds. Two thirds is going to have a, a, a cursed name in the kingdom of heaven. But the one third, they're going to have a glorious, honorable name in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, then, then you know, they're going to be, yeah, because all Israel shall be saved. Then it, their name going to be wiped away. Make all things new. Yeah, the Lord's making all things new. Yep. You got that. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I got the Baruch. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 21. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and he shall deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. And joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which he shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. Yep, the Lord said he'd forsaken us for a moment, but he will gather us in great mercy. Like he says in Zechariah chapter 10, around the eighth verse, the Lord said it's going to be as if we never left this side, that we never went off. Even Judas is scary. When he been when he when he when he uh is revived back to life and put in the kingdom, it's gonna be like he never sinned against your house shot. That's the type of mercy the Lord is gonna have for us. It's gonna be like a dream. It's gonna be like a dream. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's basically like a dream. dream. Because this this is not counted on our names forever. We're we're counted as the righteous people. Hey, we're about to America for um, for a punishment. Oh, you know, we got in the captivity. We got put in the captivity for our sins that we did in, in the past, in our past lives, and we're playing it out now. But the Lord's going to have mercy upon Israel, and starting with the elect, they're going to be the but then, like Brother was saying, all Israel is going to be saved. All right. Can I get a preacher for you? Or, or okay. <laughs> Can I get a quick preacher for you? Sure. Yeah, this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 6. It says, um, I started at verse 5. It says, Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Verse 6, Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemy. So the whole time Jacob been getting getting whooped by these other nations, the Lord still had a plan for us in the future that we won't we won't be always in that state, always in the lower state, always being the tail and not the head. The Lord is right now putting us as the head. So that's part of the Lord's great mercy right there. Because now we're being made illuminated. Mm -hmm. We're not just yeah. servants of the Heavenly Father, we're yeah. his sons. Yeah. It's like his only begotten son. Yeah, I was shy as our older brother. Uh, I got a precept. This is uh, Isaiah 51 and 1. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness. Ye that seek the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are dead. So that's us looking back to the Lord and looking to our, 
our homeland, which is Israel, all right, not Africa. Look unto Abraham, your father, and unto Sarah that bear you, all right, not the Egyptians, not King Tut, all right. It says, for I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. Zion is not Ethiopia. Zion is in uh, the uh, Fertile Crescent, okay? He will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden. Yeah. Right? I saw this uh, commercial the other day. Well, yesterday. It was talking about uh, basically uh, taking a trip to Tel Aviv oh, and going to uh, Israel in these times. The land of Israel today is jacked up and it's unholy. Yeah, it's okay? Right. It's not like the Garden of Eden over there. Yeah. All right, you have heathen and Gentiles in that land that don't belong there. Yeah. Right, and they're in power and they're ruling. But the Lord said he's going to make that land like Eden. Okay? That's how you know those people in the land are not the Lord's chosen people. Right. Okay? It's a matter of time, just a matter of time before the Lord's true people get back over there. Okay? So it says, and he will make her wilderness like Eden. It's, it's a wilderness over there. Okay. It says, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Woo. So unless the fruit and everything is growing automatically, you ain't got to till the ground. Abundance. Just right, in abundance, good. you can just walk through the and pick apples and oranges. Okay, that's not how the land is supposed to be at, at this point. Yeah. Okay. But those are supposed to be the people returning to the land. Right. The Lord says when that land is beautified like Eden, yeah. all right, and the people go back, that's when everything is going to be in first one. Yeah. Okay. And you got to read about that account in Genesis chapter 2 and 3. Go to the garden. Yep. So it says, joy and gladness shall be found therein. There's definitely not joy and gladness no. in, in, in the state of Israel right now. No. Okay. Boy. They don't know if a rocket exactly explode in the neighborhood down the street yeah, or a rocket going to be launched at the window. They got bomb shelters. Right. Uh -huh. Iron right. right. True. <laughs> so it says, joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness is near. My salvation is gone forth, and my arm shall judge the people. The owl shall wait upon me, and on my arm shall they trust. I mean, this whole chapter, you know, I can go back, right? But the truth is going to be dispersed throughout the land of who we are, what, what type of people we are, the laws that you commanded, and the wisdom that the Lord bestowed upon us. We are those top people that was hidden for a time, and now we're unhidden. By the heavenly father yeah starting now yep the other nation they're gonna be waiting on the word just like everybody's doing for america and that's what they had the second chapter yeah. said sanctions up americans are doing whatever they want right. to but they ain't going up against america like that but now it's time though because it was prophecy but in the, in the time when we when we rule we're going to rule forever and we're going to be telling these other nations what to do and if they don't then they won't get no ladder rain they won't get no food and they're going to be put to death and that's sin. The wages of sin is death. Exactly. And Yahweh Shah is going to rule with a rod, rod of iron. Like yep. it says in uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Yeah. And rebellion is witchcraft. Yeah. Rebellion yeah. is witchcraft. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Isaiah 45 and 17. It says, But Israel shall be saved from the Lord Yahweh with the everlasting salvation. Wow. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without him. Mm. Yeah, so we ain't ashamed being up here. Uh, uh, being as food for your how why your how shot say because a lot of a lot of people that look like us they out in the club they out getting their hustle on they out trying to you know they all just doing everything but sir. everything but right. but the heavenly father's on will but we're doing the heavenly father's will and what it's, it's seeing food to the uh to the people but like it says in wisdom of solomon chapter 3 verse 3 our hope is full of immortality though we be chastised and, and put in the middle of the stake before the people's eyes Yet, our hope is full of immortality, which the Lord is going to grant. Yep. And then we're going to be manifested in front of your eyes as, as the chosen ones of the Son of, the, uh, the son of God. 
This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then should a righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Yeah, people down at the bottom. Uh, the elder, uh, elder Tazel, when we post up a uh, post today about how America is helping out all these other countries with billions oh, yeah. of dollars. Oh, yeah. Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan. Yeah. But now, when it comes to Mississippi, Dirty Water, Detroit, Detroit and all these other oh, yeah. uh, ghettos and reservations that Israel right. is living on, America uh, uh, turns its back. Can't find the funds. Yeah, can't find oh, the funds. They, they got to they look through the books now. They yeah. got to go through different executive orders. They yeah. got to go through different orders. Oh, man. Yeah, just about Michigan, too. Yeah, they got dirty water. They can get, yeah, and just our brother's saying, Ukraine can get from America billions of dollars, but right here in, in, in the home state, the home states, right? You got people starving, people homeless. You got people not having clean water. Inflation is at an all-time high, no food. All right. So what is that saying? That's saying that they, hey, just like Michael Jackson said, they don't care about us. Yeah. Don't care. You know, they don't care. Yeah. Because it's more beneficial to the people that can fund them, right? It's more profitable with money to give the, the resources to them. So they could get the benefits of oil and everything and exports over here. Right. I mean, them helping out in blacks in America, they ain't finna get nothing for it. Right. What we gonna give the government besides a, 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 a new rap out the hood? That's right. true. All yeah, right. A shout out. Right, athlete. There's nothing that we can really provide in the long run that's going to benefit America. So what are they looking at? They looking to the heathen. Yeah. Let's yeah, go to the other sure. nations and right. We can get oil. Yep. We can't get no oil from a nigga. Right. Okay. We. You can't get no nigga that has oil. You can't get nothing from us. So these people, I say, pay. you know what? Let's go over here. Yeah. Hey, but well, the Lord did say that in Deuteronomy twenty-eight verse fifty-eight, no man shall buy buy thee. Yeah. And that word buy goes back to redeem. Mm -hmm. So ain't nobody gonna save us from these horrible conditions. Yeah. But the Lord is about to though. Exactly. It's a morning Yeah. Exactly. yeah. It says, um, it says, um, so far beyond all that they look for. Verse three, it says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? Well, that slap in the face of them turning their back on Mississippi, Detroit, and really all of Israel. All of Israel is in these horrible conditions. That's them saying that. Like, damn, we had these conditions. They're posts of, of uh, what you call it, uh, what was it, census? Yeah, census, what they had on the, on the uh, post that their brother had posted up with uh, Ukraine getting this much from uh, yeah, What's oh, yeah. That, like, they had analysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, yeah, that's a slap in the face. Yeah, yeah. and then they know about it too. Right. Yeah. But then when you go up and, and tell Esau the truth, Esau, Esau want to uh, uh, shot from it. Well, the, the, the wicked uh, running with no man pursuing. Yeah. Right. See, we come with we coming to you, uh, Edomites, with this truth, but but you hide behind the, the <laughs> money, <laughs> the, the politics that you have, the sorcery, that wealth. Oh, but it's all coming to an end. Like it says in James chapter 5, uh, uh, the hires that uh, 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 sold, uh, reap down your fields, the labor in your fields, which was the Atlanta slave trade, also you, you snatching this land from the Native American Indians and putting them in slavery, putting them on reservations. Yep, chattel slavery. Yeah, the Lord the Lord hears our cries now and, and our uh, uh, forefathers that went back to the spirit world. Right. And what the Lord is about to do, like it says in uh, Second Ezra chapter sixteen, the Lord will suffer us. To, uh, he would not suffer us to be in Egypt anymore. Right. Which the word Egypt goes bondage. back to uh, double straits. Yeah, bondage. Bondage. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, it, it can continue. It says on um, verse seven, we hear ourselves in the way. No, it's verse six. I just 
forgive persons and we have more good spirit. It says, therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness hath not shined unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yeah, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as yeah, for the- they, they, they took all, all this money, what millions and millions of dollars to hide this truth from Jacob. But the Lord still exposed this truth to Jacob and set us up in order. So he saw you, you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. Right, yeah. Because this, this truth is not made of men. It's made of the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Shai. John, it says, but for the way of Yahweh, we have not known it. Yeah, the ways of the Most High, they have not known it. They don't know this way. The Most High is not in all they thought, like it says in Psalm chapter 73. Uh -huh. Starting with the elite first, because these peasants out here, they don't they don't mean shit. Right. You know, how the hell are you going to be shopping in the same store with your damn slaves? Right. <laughs> Whole food, doing hey, right, right, right. But you in there. They working the same hours you working. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you gotta get taxed. Why ain't about the government? Yeah, man. Got, got non GMO stickers on this fruit. Yeah, right, right, right. level. Right. Two time loser. Oh, you know, it's really yeah. like, Yo, Esau, you finished, yeah. man. That's that yeah. dust that the Lord kept on you, man. From, from, from time with the garden, when yeah. you were serpent. Yeah. That yeah. dust is confusion. You got your own people in slavery. <laughs> You know they they got the you know the upper hand a little bit, but it's not right. It's not all the way kosher, yeah. like these so-called Jews out here. These so-called Jews got kosher. it real real good yeah. out here. <laughs> you know they offer people, yeah. especially the entertainment people. They offer people if they if they don't continue their sacrifices, they they satanic ritual sacrifices. Yeah. So yeah, you eat them like spinach, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, this Isaiah chapter 60, I'll start at the top. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord Yahweh is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord Yahweh shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Yeah, a lot of these people, they accept the pedophiles in these schools. They, they, they term the word pedophiles into... Uh, what was this called? Like minor, uh, yeah. minor, <laughs> minor attractive yeah. persons? Yeah. Oh, right, that's, yeah. that's gross darkness. Wickedness, man. Right, that's, right. that's total gross. But people are, are not knowing their right hand from their left. They, yo, right. they are literally comfortable high right. society <laughs> set up in wickedness. Oh, that's really but the light is shining throughout <laughs> all, all of this darkness of the world. Because the sons of the Heavenly Father are rising up as judges to judge the world. Like it says in Psalm chapter 82, we, we are the gods of the the earth right now through the word of the heavenly father. Yeah. And that's about to disperse all this wickedness. So if I could just ask you a point real quick, because especially, uh, you know, these, these guys commit uh, history. You know, they like to name us as rapists and pedophiles. But when Esau is clearly pushing it out into the society, they say nothing about that. You know, they don't call out uh, Esau wickedness exactly. and quickly. They claim, they claim that we rape. We'll, we'll bring up our accusation of, 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 of a man in GMS being a rapist or a pedophile, man. You know? And that's why the Lord's going to destroy you, man. That's why, that's why the scripture said, ye are gods, with, you, meaning you're supposed to be a judge. But you got bad judgment, so why? You're going to die like one of the princesses. You're going to die like those of the ancient world before the flood, man. You, have, you got faulty judgment, man. Uh, yeah. Verse 3. And it says, and the Gentiles shall come to the lot to thy light, and king to the brightness of thy rising. You know that Gentiles there going into the heathens, man. You know the Gentiles is going to uh, flow into the way of the Israelites, man. Yep. You know it's meaning that those roles are going to reverse. You know when you read uh, what the Isaiah the second chapter. You know also Michael. Seven, what's that? Zachariah. Oh, yeah. Michael. Yeah, Michael two. Yeah. two, Michael, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, these roles are going to be reversed, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, you heathens are going to follow the way of, of real kings and princes, man. Starting with Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. Yep. Yeah, it ain't all these heathens meeting up at the round table of the G7, G7 summit meeting. It's going to be nothing but Israelites at the round table. A royal round table. Yeah. Esau, you're going to be too busy trying to dig up out, out, of, out of your homes, which is going to be the side of the pits. You're going to be staying... Your, your house is going to be uh, where, where, where the spiders and, and rats dwell. 
not going to be uh, uh, calling shots like Trump like to go in these G- G7 summer meetings. Yeah. You know, all, all Steve's all yeah. proud. Yeah, but un- yeah, undressed. Got, 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 yeah, got, got the, uh, yeah. the uh, oblets. What do you call that? Egypt oblets. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Tile. Yeah. 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 But we're going to be walking in, in the round table with uh, Borders of Blue. Yeah. And, and Royal Garments. Yeah. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 23. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Yeah, all, all of these nations are going to... Uh, get their act together when Israel is back in power. They're not going to be uh, following after Esau anymore. Like, these all, all these nations got on the suit, tie, button up, you know, they, they talk like Edom. But when Israel is brought up, everybody's going to be speaking their Hebrew, that Hebrew, that Paleo-Hebrew. Not no broken Yiddish. The last one for God. Yeah, not no Assyrian Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, they, gonna yeah everybody America. is going to be speaking their Hebrew. That's what we're going to be required to. Yeah, that's right. That's why they did us with English. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's that fame. That's that fame that the Most High has put is going to put on us in that day. That glory. Esau has this glory. Let a nigga from the hood get in the presence of Donald Trump. That nigga's going to lose all that hood credibility. He's going to lose right. that hood right. attributes and characteristics. They're going to be yes sir, yes sir. Yeah. But you see a nigga walking down the street. He like got damn bishop on juice, looking out the window, talking about man. I hate you know how Rodham is chasing them niggas that was walking past their camp. Jake, Jake could do that to their own people, but in the presence of, of, of the uh, enemy, they they get some act right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's the end on that. I got real. I got real. You got a. This. Yeah. I got killed thirty three and thirty three. Because the brother brought out the piece like uh, Zachariah. It says, and when and when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Right. You know, it's like the uh, scripture saying Isaiah the thirteenth chapter, and he's gonna make a man more precious than gold. Mm-hmm. You know, so hey, these people are gonna recognize who the man of, uh, of the Lord was just by our countenance, man. How we moving in that day, you know? And if they're and if mainly if uh, Israel, you know, and they of the elect. And they're going to follow a man of the Lord, man. You know? Yep, they're going to be grabbing yeah. our skirt. Mm-hmm. Which is our clothing anyway. But for a lot of Israel, it's going to be too late. Because the time is now. You can, try to, you can try to search for the truth, but the Lord is not going to fulfill that desire that you have in you to try to get the truth. Like it says in Amos chapter 9. No, no, no. Amos chapter uh, 8. The famine of the word. Exactly. The spirit is going to be thirsty going to be hungry for the truth yeah. but it's not going to be near you matthew 7 uh all this it's a lord lord yeah oh yeah into the kingdom. right i mean because yeah. the lord is, is not basing off the works but he, he sure is going to bless us for our works yeah exactly. that's proving our exactly. faith exactly. Um, now a lot of jake is not not part of the government body but at the same time you know they have the law within them so you know the lord just going to seal them just for his purpose and not all israel is going to be saved I got a quick one. Okay. Uh, Psalms 110 and verse 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast to do with thy youth. Yeah, when we, when we uh, morph into those superheroes, when we morph into to those uh, extraterrestrial beings on the earth, Jake going to be grabbing them to it, like their brother just read. A whole new level of uh, that. It's that see when the Lord gives yeah. the servant the spiritual power, yeah. that's going to be a whole new level of, of representing the earth. It's going to be a whole new level of fear. Okay? Not like these celebrities. The top of the are going to fear. They're going to be proud, but they're going to be like, okay, we got to do something. All right? Yeah. But these people out here, you know, when, when right. the brothers get that power, when number one, all kinds of miracles are going to be happening. Right. People are going to be getting healed. We're yeah. talking, talking about take this. When you're gonna have certain certain individuals come across the brothers and be healed and not need what Esau's giving them. Yeah, yep. You know? Esau. 
And then when the enemy comes in and that standard's lifted up, it's gonna be more war, war hope all over all around the country, man. Yeah. All around the world. It's gonna be brothers with their power yeah. doing what you see in the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Taking this system down. Like like uh the uh what it uh sitcom uh cage at uh super power that's how we're gonna be but we're not gonna be touched because going back to that word immortal we're gonna be immortal so it, yeah. no death is gonna stand near us matter of fact death is gonna bow down to us matter of fact we're gonna be the death angels <laughs> we're gonna be chasing you down Jake Ezekiel chapter 9, verse uh, 4. Well, no, verse 5. Go, uh, those that are in my hearing, uh, uh, slave and utterly, old, young, men, yeah. women, and children. That's going to be us doing that. Right now, the angels are doing it. But soon it's going to be us, the Lord's angels, uh, uh, on the right-hand side. We're going to be bringing that destruction to the Israelites first. The house of Israel, like it says in 1 Peter chapter 4. It is very believable because Esau himself, with his minute technology, can create super soldiers. Yep. He can create soldiers that have damn near extraterrestrial powers with his with his witchcraft. So how much more so the heavenly Father and his anointed man? Yep. Did not Yahweh shall raise? Was he not resurrected from the dead? Or do you believe that man? If, if a man could be resurrected, he said greater works. Yeah. Greater yeah. Works than he did. Greater works than being resurrected from the dead. That speaks for itself, man. Mm. Greater words than he did. Yep, it says that. Yeah, I was shy. He, he, he went through walls. He went through people that tried to throw him off yep. the cliff. Yep. He was walking in water. Yeah, he walked in water. Oh, I was just going to say, there's a whole lot of things yeah. that's not even written. Like, oh, like yeah, uh, the made. last chapter of the book of John. Said yeah. If, if, if everything that the yeah, Oshai did was recorded in the book, Can't contain. the world could not contain it. That means he did. Man. That, he did a lot. Yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, his name probably Hubbard, Buffy, you know, oh, Jake, right. he, he went on the side of the earth. He, he didn't. He didn't. Levitate no more. He probably, oh, he probably went on the side of the earth. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, Jackson said that. So, a that, uh, that is not a discord. Yeah, yeah, the scripture speaks about that. He said, uh, uh, Jew said, should he then go to the Gentiles that are of Israel? Well, technically he did. He went to the northern kingdom. Because the bulk of the northern kingdom was over here in the western hemisphere. At a time, and, and most of Israel was over here. Yeah, they were here. There's a lot of Israelites. Yeah. That's why when you go to, oh, yeah, I was gonna say when you go to like artistic, um, historical, artistic depictions of certain and different artifacts with the uh, ancient empires of this North and South America, they have individuals on the cross crucified. You know, they have different pictorial images showing the life and the walk of Yahweh Shai and his teaching. Man. Yeah, uh, Kessel Quattle. Kessel Quattle, yeah. yeah. I think the, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the so-called Mexicans name. Yeah. But they knew who he was. Mm. We got the spaceship, the UFOs, the chariots, all in the different archaeology yeah. of the North and South Americans. Yeah. Those are angels, man. And those are those greater works that we're going to be doing. We're going to, like Brother said that uh, at camp last week, said we're going to be on the other side of the earth. We may not even be delivered all from America. We may be delivered over there in Asia somewhere. Me. Yeah. Killing, killing the elect. Oh, the angel to the so nah, just about to get it. Yeah. 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 Y
in your lifetime, Jake. It's not going to happen 500 years from now. This is actually real. If you look back and Google the Roman Empire time, that's when the time yeah, I was, I was in, in, in Rome. I think around 4 BC when he was born. That's when the time you had the different Sanhedrins, uh, Sanhedrins and you know, the uh, uh, different scribes, the Sadducees, the Pharisees of Israel that they kept up really the uh, uh, the customs of Israel. But when Yahweh Shah came with the scene, he came with that full court. That actually happened in real life. So how much more the whole connect that's joint heir to your house shot? We're going to have those miracles performed in front of you too. Matter of fact, this is a miracle. Yeah. Bringing out this truth. Because the truth was sealed at a time. Like it says in Revelation chapter 5. No man could pick up this book and understand it. Yeah. But for a time, like it says in uh, uh, Second Thessalonians, I think, mm -hmm. the riches, the riches that are uh, now manifested, Right now, uh, after different ages, this is right. the age now the Lord is, 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 yeah. is, is now revealing Revelation chapter 5 about the book being unsealed. And then what? Yahweh Shah is going to come back because he, he's already marking the elect by the Holy Spirit with his word. So these miracles are real. Brothers get woke, brothers get healed. Yeah. Brothers, brothers. Brother spiritual eyes can see the prophecies the elect of Israel is being gathered. So the most high words is pure because all of these words is the inspiration of the heavenly father. Like it says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. No, no, 16. You got it. Okay. This is um Obadiah chapter 1, verse 18. You were 18 to verse 21. Okay, this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 21. It says, And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. Yep, the saviors is talking about the elect, the ones before the 4,000, the joint heir with Yahweh Shai. We're going to be uh, saviors along with uh, Yahweh Shai, who is the ultimate savior, who is the, really the only savior. But we have those titles because we're joint heir with the Savior. Yeah. So that would make us saviors too. And we're saving Israel through these, you know, through these scriptures. You know, if, if you uh, give a prophet a cup of water, then yeah. you should receive a proper reward. If that prophet is a false prophet, you ain't going to receive no reward for that. You're going to receive devil evil for that. Know who God do a good to. Yeah. That's what the scripture says. Right. So all of these things that we're doing is not in vain. Like it says in Isaiah 45 verse 19. So we being those saviors is, is really heavy. Yeah. Although we don't do the watering, it's like if we don't do the growing, you know, we just give the seed and, and uh, uh you know we plant the seed, yeah, and we water it. Lord and the Lord give the increase, like uh Paul and uh uh Paulus. Well, they was teaching this right now. The majority of brothers use uh that and people see we're all great men. Okay. Some of us are young, some of us are older, right? But it, it's all about the spirit of the men, you know? We got some great men that's out here on the street corners teaching the word, and they're going to be raised up when the time comes. And that's how it's supposed to be, right? And the Lord's going to give his servants that honor, okay? And and, and that's, that's them being saviors because these men, these brothers, these great men, are given the Lord's truth to save your soul. You know? Yep. Ezekiel 33. That's been a watch time. The Lord also said, beware of entertaining strangers. Because uh -huh. uh, you may entertain the uh, angel unaware. Yeah. yeah, we're angels of the Lord. Thus said the scripture. Then Yahweh Shah mentioned that to the Jews. He said, Is not this in your law? I say ye are God. What does the word God mean in the Hebrew? Uh, term is Allah and in the meaning of it is judges in the plural Allah angels yeah. Yeah. Well, Allah, Allah, yeah. power. Power. Allah singular in the power that's who we are we're the angels of the Lord uh, this is uh, Isaiah 52 and 6 therefore my people shall know my name 
Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. Like I said, the brothers that's given, that's given out the gospel, all right, are given good tidings, okay, to the save another soul. It says, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation. Right? So we're publishing salvation to our people. So get yourselves together because the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah is at hand, but also the destruction of our enemies is at hand as well. So you got to be on the right side. Okay? It says, That bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy power reigneth. We're telling you that the Lord, the Most High, and the scriptures is the only, the only ultimate being you should be worshiping. Okay? Not delving into your own mindset of philosophy. Okay? It says, Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing. And we're singing a song. Because all the different camps and brothers that have this doctrine, starting with the apostles and elders, are singing a, a song in harmony and unison that is in perfect vibration with the heavenly father and his son that's right it says for they shall see eye to eye when the lord shall bring again zion all right and that gospel is going to bring all the tribe together to see eye to eye but it starts with the watchman starting off the sink humming that song getting that tune right okay bringing it out all right yeah and that's a blessing because the Lord is going to save you from these perilous times, man. Uh, Second Ezra chapter nine goes into that. Those that had liberty, but yet uh, uh, loath is law. You should know it after death by pain. Right. That's the wicked. They're going to take heed now. They're going to have to be put to death now and be destroyed. But the ones that remain, the remainder, the elect, the remnant, are going to be saved. Those that are listening. Yep. So it's an honorable thing to take heed because, you know, our, our Heavenly Father is a real king. He's, he's living. That's how we're running. It's like, it's yeah, exactly. A lot of, a lot of Jacob in these churches, they don't believe that the Most High is real. Like how the scriptures say he's real. Yeah. They don't believe in another, another Savior. Yep. Yeah. You got it. Uh, this is Tobit chapter 12, and verse 11. And it says, Surely I will keep close nothing from you. For I said it was good to keep close the secret of the king, but that is but that it was honorable to reveal the works of the Most High. And that's the archangel Raphael talking to uh, Tobit and to, right. Tobias about you know him being the archangel in, in, in disguise and whatnot, helping uh, Tobit out with his blindness and so on and so forth. Having Tobias get his wife from all the demons, and he, he said what in his question? He said. He said, uh, it's, it's an honorable thing to reveal the works of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. So this is an honorable thing. And we've been in that circle. What are we going to receive? We're going to receive thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel and the rest of this world. You know, it's, it's a difference for being a nine to five nigga and a king. Right. Two <laughs> different worlds, man. Two different mindsets. You don't even look at the day like that. You don't even look at the morning like that. Yeah, There's right. a difference between, um, between being the billionaire and the son of God, man. Oh, yes. Yeah, man. You know, you, yes. you got you got mansions, but brothers are going to have land masses and countries. You know, yeah, right. Right. Watch, watch trees. Yeah. 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 Galaxies. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, no, it's nowhere in the world that a person <laughs> has <laughs> quite trillion dollars. <laughs> like, we, we don't have dollars in the kingdom, but we're going to have, uh, uh, we're have uh, infinite, wealth. Wealth. True wealth. infinite wealth. That's true, wealth. true infinite wealth. But it's not even gonna be a talk. It's yeah. not gonna be, yeah. You right. Name on it it's just it's gonna gonna exist. Exist. It's, yeah. gonna, it's gonna be there, like right. yeah. cattle, that's land, real, that's real money. people. That's, that's the real money. And if I could add too, that's how you know that Esau uh, really had. He's still a base, he's low, and because he's still trying to deceive people to get more money. Like he's lying to the people. No, he's still lying to the people and get over on people. To, to still sit in that, that, that power seat, so to speak. Unjust judge. Uh, he's an unjust judge, man. Yep. You know, we ain't going to be having to get over on Deceitfully. Or right. he just right. have money in the kingdom. King Solomon did right by everybody. Yeah. Yeah. 
but he's still triumphant over all the kings of the world, even in doing righteousness. So that's the difference, Esau. You're doing wickedly to get yours, but we're going to do righteous. And the Lord is going to see fit uh, of getting our rewards for doing righteousness. Yep. And, if, and if the other side don't give it to us, like it says in uh, the blessing of our forefather Isaac said to uh, Jacob, curse be he that cursed thee, and bless be he that blessed thee. Yeah. No way around it. You got it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Yep. The sound of that trumpet is coming from his word. And then, you know, the Lord is going to do how he's going to do to save us. Right. You know, we're going to be beamed up in those chariots. Brothers get spiritual powers. All of that is going to happen in this time. But the trumpet right now is being sounded out is through his men. And watch out. Because the watch guard in Israel will have that uh, ram's horn that, that will sound off as a trumpet. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's gathering his elect throughout the four corners of the earth. First being the uh, 144,000 with this word. You got it. Con, going, going to the next chapter, Matthew chapter 25, verse 31. It says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep Part of me. It says, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. The Lord is doing that right now. Oh, yeah. That, 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 uh, that old pasty broad Queen Elizabeth, she passed away today. Call y'all for that. Call all your house. Yo, because literally, man, we need yeah, the elite. To really just die out or just go into slavery, we being the ones chaining them up. You know what I mean? She gonna come back but, yeah, she's going to come back and serve. Yeah, she's going to come out and serve a slavery. But if she's in that bunker, she's going to come out and serve slavery in that old body. So either way it goes, it's, 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 no, it's no good creature for you. You got it out. Good. And um, in verse 34, it says, Then shall the king say unto them on the right hand, Come. Ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. That's us putting that work in, you know, having that faith. Because that faith is going to be the stability of our times in the time of Jacob's trouble. Just as it is now. That's why brothers had it in their minds to come to camp. That's why brothers had it in their mind wherever they at doing videos, sending up prayers, reading scriptures. Because it's going to pay off in the end. And we don't know when that end going to come when we're actually transforming and twinkling of an eye as the immortals of the heavenly father. So it's best that we just hold on to our profession, which is his work, so that we can be honored in that time to be crowned with the crown of life from Yahweh Shah. You got right. it. Okay. Um, it says, for I was hungered and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in yeah. naked and you clothed me. And that's talking about this word because this word feeds you. This word gives you uh, 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 everlasting waters. This word clothed you from the nakedness of sin. That's what the Lord means by that. Not going downtown and passing out sandwiches and Doritos to the homeless. That's that's not what the Lord is talking about. It's talking about this truth. Because this truth is the, the spiritual food and the spiritual water, the spiritual wine, the oil, <laughs> the great spice wine, yep. pomegranate wine good for your spirit Sapphire. and this is what's making you clean this is what's keeping you alive because what we, we uh we don't live to eat we eat to live and we eat to live with these scriptures you got it come on and it reads it says um i was a, it said i was it says naked and ye clothed me i was sick and ye visited me i was in prison and ye came unto me yeah prisons in these uh sinful flesh first and then under our oppressors we're prisoners of war behind enemy's lines. So us doing that to Jake, we're doing that to Yahweh Shot. You got it? Yeah, you say it's 
uh, us visiting Jake, you know, with this word, right. whether in that sinful flesh, which yeah, is prison, okay, yeah, and, you know, Jake in uh, uh, America or elsewhere throughout the four corners of the earth on the oppression in their prison. We visiting with this word. That's us visiting uh, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And even um, I'll say, uh, if I may, like with the brotherhood, if brothers are going through certain circumstances, certain trials, certain infirmities, being there for your brother because the elect body of Israel were the body of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, 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 brother. Yep, yeah. 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 laid down his life. Yep, yeah. that's it's yeah. actually about to go into that. It says, um, verse thirty-seven. It says, "Then shall the righteous answer him, say, saying, Lord, when saw we, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink, or when saw we a, when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee?" Yeah, see, that's the state that don't have that truth. It says, or oh, when saw we the sick or in prison or came unto thee? Verse 40, and the king shall answer and say unto them, Barely I say unto you, and as much as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Mm -hmm. See how important that honor is that we're going to get from Yahweh Shai? Mm -hmm. Because we, we please him. You know, we became service to him. Now he's going to be a servant to us. And, and, and uh, please us with usury, which is giving us the kingdom of heaven. Okay. All right, so with that, hope this uh, camp was edifying to the hopefully led to them. We're going to say, Yahweh, 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 Yahwe